Hey everyone, it's Shannon Grace. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, hi, what's up? My name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining us. So as you might have figured out from the title of this video, today is going to be a boot haul. Ah! <laughs> as you can see, I have several pairs of boots to try on and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> Let me put these down. Whew. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, so today's video is going to be a boot haul. Um, I have a few pairs of boots here. I've got two from Ashley Stewart and two pairs from Just Fab. I've got some tall ones and some short ones. So I'm very excited to try them on for you. Now, um, you, uh, probably saw that there is going to be some wide calf options here and the tall boots from Ashley Stewart are both wide calves. I have extremely extremely wide calves so trust me I tell you if these boots fit me then they will fit you uh, have no fear I've got some options here I didn't mean for that to rhyme but I'm hopeful that these will fit and it will help you guys find some options as well now before we get started I did want to take a minute to touch on just one little thing and that is something that you might have noticed if you are following me on my Instagram or my Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest or one of those places um, and if you're not go down to the subscription and follow me on all of my social media accounts so that you can hang out with me in between uploads I'm always posting I'm always interacting so make sure to go and follow me on all of my social medias but what you might have noticed in my post is that I don't ever wear heels and there is a reason for that and it's not that I don't like heels because trust me I see beautiful shoes on other women and I am like so incredibly jealous I I covet their shoes I want to buy them they're like little candies that I can't eat or something but I can't wear heels and the reason for that is because I have plantar fasciitis now if you're not familiar with plantar fasciitis basically what that is referring to is um, on the bottom of your foot between your heel and your toes is a tendon that runs all the way along the bottom and um, if you do not have an arch or if like in my case your arch is broken it flattens out on that tendon and causes it to stretch away from the bone this is kind of graphic so trigger warning if you're not really into like medical stuff but not, it's not that bad um, and basically what happens is like it creates heel spurs and inflammation because there's little tears in the uh, tendon and it causes the bone to like sort of grow towards the tendon which is basically what creates the heel spurs anyways I am not supposed to wear heels I have to wear uh, orthopedic inserts in all of my shoes so you will see me wear like a small like a one inch maybe a one and a half inch heel if I'm feeling spicy and festive um, but for the most part I pretty much always wear flats and um, now you know that is the reason. So no hate on the heels because I love them and I wore them for years and years and years. But frankly, it's not worth not being able to walk for two days after wearing them for a couple of hours. So um, we'll just stick to the flats. <laughs> and uh, hey, that just means I can date shorter guys, right? <laughs> We're gonna talk about that in a future video because that used to be a thing that I did and I'm not doing that anymore because it's not on brand for me and it's not, it doesn't align with my way of thinking now. I just didn't realize until I really considered it that it was not really in line with what I believe and how I think. See guys, you can change. You can reconsider things. You can come at them from a different perspective and you might change your mind. So have an open mind, have an open heart. Let's get to opening some of these boxes and putting these shoes on. Sit back, relax, grab a snack and let's get started. Oh, also, I have an NSYNC t-shirt, and it's hella cool. This is from Torrid. If you guys want it, I'll link it down below. <laughs> um, okay, let's go get started. All right, so our first box here is from Just Fab, and I'm not sure which one this is, so let's open it up and take a peek. Oh, okay, awesome. So our first pair are these uh, gray slouchy boots. These are just a short, this is sort of, a, it's not like a booty because the booty would be more like in this range, but it's just like a short boot. This is gonna come up like right below the calf, I think. Um, and it does have, as you can see, just the little like uh, one inch heel, which is nice. And it's a nice little like faux suede finish. Very cute, feels really nice. 
and no zippers or buckles or anything which I actually kind of love I hate to have uh, a metal like if I'm wearing gold jewelry and then my boots have like silver metal on them that's like to me a big no-no I know that mixing metals is something that you can do but um, it's a specific look and for me, a lot of the times, it's not a look that I want. So I prefer to just keep it to one toed. And so I love any kind of uh, shoe or bag that doesn't actually have any hardware on it because it makes it a lot more versatile. So I'm very excited to try these on. Let's go check them out. All right, so here are the first pair. Um, sorry, I have gray leggings on. These probably weren't the best leggings to try on with these gray boots, but it was what I was already wearing. So here they are is the pair of gray Salauchi boots. Um, they have a black sole and a black heel about an inch high. They are just a slip on boot. They don't have any hardware, no zippers, but I will say that they definitely slipped on very, very well. And I think that these are super cute. They're very comfortable. They've got lots of space here. Um, they come up just below where the calf muscle starts. And as you can see, I have large calves, but these um, are not tight at all. They are moving around, and I can tell that they are big enough on the inside that I can put my inserts in them, which makes them perfect for wearing all the time. So, I really like these. I think they're super cute. Tell me down in the comments, what do you guys think? All right, so next I have grabbed one of these Ashley Stewart boxes. And again, I don't know which pair is in here, so let's check it out. Okay, oh, so this is another sort of faux suede. I'm just gonna hold up one, because these are really tall. This is a tall uh, faux suede with a ruffle detail all the way up the top, and this is actually an over-the-knee boot. As you can see on the back in this one, it is a stretchy material. Um, all the way around, so it's really just the front that's the faux suede, and the entire back is the elastic sort of spandexy material. If you are a wide calf boot kneader like myself, if you have big voluptuous calves, mine are about, I think they're like 22 inches, maybe even a little bit bigger. Um, I'm just taking this stuff out. Um, <laughs> Basically, uh, this is something, if you're if you're shopping online for boots in particular, if you look for boots that have this panel, this is definitely going to offer a lot more stretch for you. So if you see that as something that's available, then I would definitely recommend it. Um, personally, I would absolutely love to have a pair of tall, full boots that had like leather or material that went all the way around, that were a true wide calf that fit all the way around. But frankly, when I find those, they're extremely expensive and just out of my price range at this point. So for those of you who are budget conscious, but also have wide calves, look for the elastic in the back. It definitely makes all the difference. So I'm very excited to try these on. I haven't had a pair of over the knee boots, I don't think ever. And I haven't had a pair of knee high boots since like the ones I had last year broke. So I'm super excited to try these on. Let's go check them out. All right, so here are the Ashley Stewart boots. These are the faux suede over the knee style. Um, I think these are super, super cute. I love the ruffle detail that goes up the side of both of the boots. Um, they of course are just a little flat, like a one inch flat boot. They do have the over the knee detail as well as um, having a full elastic uh, stretchy material in the back. Now this I really like because it actually feels more like, almost like a scuba or like a stretchy uh, swimsuit type of material. So I know that it's going to stretch a lot, but also hold up as opposed to just being like a complete sheet of elastic, which tends to stretch out and have a lot of issues over the time. I think that this, these are actually gonna hold up pretty well. Um, I thought at first that they might be difficult to get on, but they were actually incredibly easy to get on. As you can see, they have a little zipper here. It goes about halfway down all the way to the bottom. And um, these just slid right on. It was honestly like putting on a pair of leggings, maybe even easier than putting on a pair of leggings. Um, so I was really happy with that. I absolutely love these. These are so cute and fabulous and perfect for my wide calves. No stretching, nothing. There's like extra room. This is really like nice. It doesn't feel tight or anything. I think these are incredibly fabulous and I recommend them to you all. 
All right, so next I've got another box from Just Fab. Now these um, are going to be a little rain boot. I think this this style of boot has like a specific brand or specific name, but um, ew, these smell terrible. Oh my god. Oh, it's the rubber. <coughs> oh god. <laughs> That's so gross. Um, okay, so they have a little bit of a smell, but these are really, really cute. So this is just like a little rain boot. Um, it's got, as you can see, like a really cute plaid right here on the inside, um, and then on the inside of the tongue, and then around the outside, it has like a gray sweater detail. So I think that these are so cute. And for winter, like in Tennessee and Nashville, um, we don't get a whole lot of snow, but we definitely get ice and we get a lot of slush. So to have something like this, that's cute, but has some good traction and then has some weather weatherproofing as well as some warmth like this one, I'm really excited to try on. So let's go try it on. Okay, so here are the next pair of boots. Uh, these are just the little rain booties that I just showed you. And as you can see, they are a full lace up boot in the front. And then they have the little sweater detail around the ankle. And they have the contrasting sole color, the little like natural tan color. And just a little like faux leather on the top with a like water resistant plastic sort of rubber situation on the bottom. Um, these are really, really cute. I don't have my inserts in right now and I can tell that like this doesn't have a lot of support. It feels very, very flat, especially on my heels. So I'll certainly have to put my inserts, but it does feel big enough to accommodate for space for that. Um, as you can see, it is well below the calf, so you don't have to worry about it fitting there. Um, there's plenty of laces to be able to tie them up tight or to let them be a little bit looser if you prefer that style or if you have like a wider foot or a wider ankle. Um, but overall, I think these are really, really cute. Definitely gonna be great to have for those slushy winter days. And I really, I like them. So what do you guys think? Tell me down below. How do you feel about these? This is gonna cut out. Can we do the last one? Can we do the last one? All right, you guys, so the last pair is one more from Ashley Stewart. This is going to be another tall pair of boots. And in this case, let me just get one out. Um, these are a tall, like faux, <laughs> these are like a tall faux leather um, boot. And again, it's just got the small little like one inch heel. It's got the faux leather all down the front. It's got an elastic panel in the back like the previous pair from Ashley Stewart. And then it has a really cute gold buckle detail. Um, also, I meant to mention, and I will tell you, the majority of these shoes are available in other colors. So if you don't like black, uh, I think both of the Ashley Stewart boots come in brown. And the gray boots that I tried on earlier, I believe those come in a couple of different colors along with the rain boots. I know those definitely come in at least tan, but they might come in another combo of colors as well. Maybe something with like a print. Um, so definitely go check them out. Everything's linked down below as usual. Check it out. Um, I've also been researching a lot of wide calf boots. Uh, so I have linked as well some additional options of things I found online, like on Amazon and some other sources. So if you're not super keen on all of these, or maybe you're just looking for a different style, go down and check those links because there may be something else down there that I've linked just for you guys. I don't have them here to try on, but I did do a little research and I wanted to give you guys some more options since I only had a few pairs for this haul. But anyways, this is just like a regular, everyday, great, fantastic standard boot to have. Um, I could see myself wearing it like every day to work. I could see myself wearing it on the weekend. Um, so I'm really excited to go try this one on. So let's go do it. All right, so here are the last pair of boots. These are the over-the-knee faux leather boots from Ashley Stewart, which are, again, just a little flat one-inch boot um, with the gold buckles at the top and the bottom. They do have a little band detail here around the calf along with down around the ankle. Now, these are not adjustable. However, for me, they are giving me plenty of room, and you will notice that the inside part of that band, this piece from here to here is actually elastic, so that allows for some stretching as well, so you don't have to worry about that. 
Of course, if they didn't work for you, you could do what I have done on plenty of pairs of boots. You could always cut that little strap off and it would still work. But these I think are super cute. Great for just everyday wear. I definitely could see myself rocking them with some jeans, with some leggings like I have on here. Um, this is just a great pair of regular go-to black riding boots. I think these are pretty fabulous. They do of course have the same type of elasticized panel that's in the back just like the other pair of Ashley Stewart boots did and I really love this detail. Again, it's very comfortable. You've got plenty of room for your calf. You don't have to worry about it fitting and then you don't you also don't have to worry about this material stretching out um, the way that an actual piece of elastic would because again it is that sort of almost like a bathing suit or like a workout type of material so I really like them. These are cute. I think I'm gonna keep these as well. Just one more thing I wanted to mention while I was thinking about it. These are a size 11. I am a size 11 shoe so all the boots that you saw in today's haul are a size 11 so just keep that in mind for reference um, as far as like when I was talking about the fit or how they feel on my foot. The majority of these all feel like they have plenty of wiggle room for my toes, which is great because I am gonna have to put my inserts in and I like to have some extra room for that. And I can tell that all of these feel just a little bit loose around the foot, perfect snug great fit around the leg um, and enough room for me to put a little insert in so keep that in mind these are a size 11 along with all the other boots that you saw in this haul but these are fabulous tell me down below what do you think about these what do you think do we like them yay nay thumbs up thumbs down all right <laughs> awesome all right, you guys, well, that is all of the boots that I have to try on today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it for you. Um, I was pretty happy with all of the boots, honestly. I'm actually surprised because of the size of my calves. I'm always worried that it's gonna be difficult for me to find boots, but the Ashley Stewart options were fantastic. They have a ton more options on their website, so definitely go check those out. If you're looking for something with more of a heel or maybe in a fun color, they definitely have other options. The Just Fab shoes as well were fantastic. The little short gray boots, I can see myself probably wearing those all the time. They're very, very comfortable, super easy to slip on. I can tell that they're gonna be the pair that sits by my door so that I can pop them on as I'm coming and going all the time. They're gonna be a go-to pair for me. And then the rain boots, those are awesome. I haven't had a great pair of shoes to wear out in the weather in, um, well, maybe ever. I'm, I'm chronically not dressed properly for the weather. Um, but anyways, I'm really excited with how everything came out and I'm very excited to keep all of these items. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Tell me if you have a source or a recommendation for places to find wide calf boots because I'm always on the hunt for that. And um, follow me on all of my social media so you can hang out with me in between uploads. But as always, like this video, share it with a friend, subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, don't forget to love yourself. Bye. I feel like I should jump into the frame like, okay, here we are with our next set of boots. Like I should be talking with my legs. Dun, 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 dun. Shuffle ball change, kick and kick. Okay, um, anyways, now that I'm out of breath, hi.